Hello, YouTubers, friends, compatriots, blue liquor, shills, gas, lasers, peasants, vassals, creatures of the imagination. I'm a useful idiot. Today I want to talk about Ray Harryhausen, who has passed away at the age of 92. A true cinematic genius. Uh, once again, in an era where the term genius is thrown around a little too frivolously. And, uh, Ray Harryhausen was indeed a genius and a unique, one-of-a-kind um, artist. Uh, and let me refresh everyone. He is the man behind what became known as Dynamation, or Stop Start Animation. It was uh, filled movies from the uh, mid-50s up into the 80s. Clash of the Titans, Seven Points of Sinbad, Jason and the Argonauts, 20 Million Miles to Earth, It Came from Beneath the Sea, The Beast from 20,000 Fathoms, uh, an incredible array of uh, fantastic pictures that uh, not only had a huge influence on me, but had a huge influence on a lot of directors that I continue to enjoy, including Spielberg and Tim Burton, James Cameron, Peter Jackson, all site. Uh, Harryhausen was a huge influence. And um, he was born in 1920. His uh, first film was in 1952, an adaptation of a short story by his uh, uh, lifelong friend Ray Bradbury, of course, the towering uh, science fiction writer of the 20th century. You know, so they were best friends from early on. And, uh, so that was in 1952, and uh, he continued to make movies up until the 80s. And um, they were always known uh, and notable, mostly for the creatures that he created. It's a, a, a painstaking technique. And this is another thing that makes Ray Harryhausen unique. He would, he would do these in his own garage and, and do these uh, creatures and, and uh, superimpose them into these Hollywood movies. But all this work he did at home. He created the models and, he, and this, this process involves uh, creating uh, uh, small models, not unlike my friend here, and just moving one part at a time. That can be uh, a hand gesture, or an eyebrow, um, anything, to uh, and then take one frame at a time. And you can imagine it takes uh, weeks to create uh, seconds and minutes of film this way, but uh, and one of the reasons why Harryhausen is such a master is that he was able to imbue these creatures with a sense of pathos and personality because of his uh, knowledge of uh, anatomy and um, just an exquisite job making these creatures. And how he got into business is interesting enough. Uh, he saw uh, King Kong in 1933 when he was 13 years old. And he was so uh, fascinated that he started creating these uh, small films make, made with his own creatures at an early age. And uh, his work was quite remarkable. He actually got to go out, meet Willis O'Brien, and uh, by 1949, he was actually working with Willis O'Brien on another um, a, uh, stop start animation movie called Mighty Joe Young, you know, kind of a follow up um, or uh, tangent from the King Kong movie. And uh, that's what uh, set Ray, Harry, Ray Harryhausen on his way. And uh, I. I can uh, say, just like some of my other heroes that have passed recently, like Jonathan Winters, uh, Ray Harryhausen had a very, very, very profound effect on me. Not only do I love uh, fantasy movies and uh, cinema in general, but I've always been a creature of the imagination. and No one stirred it like Ray Harryhausen. My first encounter was, uh, I believe, the year 1965 when I was in grade school. And when it would rain during recess, they would show films in the auditorium, in the gymnasium. And they'd always show, uh, you know, only about 15 minutes at a time. So I would see uh, Seventh Voyage of Sinbad in 15 minute increments. And uh, I was always hoping it would rain so that I could see more of the movie. And I eventually saw it all, but uh, I was so uh, taken that I would spend all my off time uh, drawing picture after picture after picture of all the wonderful creatures and the dragon, the cyclops, and the fighting skeletons from all the uh, from all the Harryhausen movies and Seventh Voyage of Sinbad. I also remember the the fact that uh, the first movie I ever saw when my family actually was fortunate enough to eventually get a color TV was the night the whole family got around the TV and watched Jason and the Argonauts and uh, what a thrilling experience that was. All those movies still uh, fascinating. So uh, so hats off to Ray Harryhausen, a, a true giant, a true uh, ch a child who never grew up, got to do exactly what he wanted his whole life and created a, 
a small but uh, amazing um, collection of uh, fantasy films uh, that will live on through history. And uh, there's no regrets here. He lived a full life. Finally, he got a Lifetime Achievement Award in 1992, presented by his best friend, Ray Bradbury, and uh, well-deserved. Um, sad to say there will not be any more Ray Harryhausen films, but uh, the stop-start animation uh, continues to live, in, live on in the able hands of uh, Tim Burton. So there you have it. Ray Harryhausen passed away, 92. God bless you, Ray Harryhausen. I'm useful to you. Don't you be one, too.